Jesus, let's stand to our feet this wonderful evening. Amen. We are going to worship God. We're going to praise God. We're going to spare our soul. How are you?
Father in heaven, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We bring this coming uh, meeting with Pakya Raj before you. We ask for your blessing on that, on those three services. Dear God, we want your presence. We want to see you do signs and wonders. Father, we want you to glorify your son Jesus. Uh, through the preaching of Pastor Pakiraj, Pakiraj Pesra, over Podagar Matilion, through the prayers of Pakir, Pastor Pakiraj, Podagar Pakiraj Mulolo, Jau, the Kagi Varigero, or we you seek your face? We want you more than anything else. Those who come on those few days. Especially those who do not know you. Pray that you speak to them. You touch them in a special way. Uh, tonight in this place. We commit everybody to you. We, we ask of you to help us all here. Uh, we truly need you. We ask on behalf of our family members who are not safe. We ask you to save them. Save them from this place called hell. Hell is real. And those who do not accept Jesus as their Savior, uh, they will be going to this place. We ask that you show mercy to them. And those who are not well in this place tonight, we ask you to heal them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask and pray. Amen. 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 Let's give big clap to God. Okay, yeah, you can be seated. Uh, just one announcement. Uh, Friday night. Saturday night. Uh, Sunday morning. Uh, Friday night, Saturday night will be at 7 o'clock. We ask you to come and pray. Service starts at 8. And on Saturday morning, church open at 9 30. Sorry, Sunday morning. Church open at 9 30. Service with Pakya Raj starts at 10.30. So for Friday night and Saturday night, Pastor Pakya Raj will be preaching in the English and Tamil. So you know any Tamil friends? You can invite them to come for the meetings. He'll be praying for the sick. Amen. Amen. So let's bow our heads tonight. Uh, we want to give to God. And Father, tonight, we ask your blessing upon every giver that gives of their tithes and offerings uh, to you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're going to turn to Psalms, Sangeetam 127. Psalms 127. Verse number 1 and verse number 2. Um, Kalai, can you read? Okay. 
Amen. Thank you. We have been uh, studying the Psalms of uh, ascent or going up. Uh, beginning from Psalms 120. And uh, these Psalms are, in a way, traveling Psalms. Or, or Psalms that the Jews would sing. Or they will pray as they make their way to Jerusalem. And uh, if you have been hearing and noticed that most of the Psalms have only a few verses. Uh, today's Psalms have only five verses to it. Uh, each of the psalms uh, carries with it uh, instructions, uh, teachings about who God is, about what He wants to do for His people, and what He wants you and I to do as well. Uh, last week we look at uh, the topic about God wanting to restore our blessing. Yeah, one of the prayers to pray. And like the children of Israel, we are all on a journey. And we are on a journey to spiritual Jerusalem, heaven in the way. Last, last week, the word of God. Uh, teaches us to pray for restoration. Uh, rest restoration have the picture or the image or idea of to bring back. Uh, that which you have lost. The lost years. The lost uh, happiness. Praying to God to bring back the lost. Uh, uh, the lost uh, uh, youth, you know, the lost strength. In the course of living, uh, what happens is that the, the enemy comes and steals. Uh, he can steal joy, steal uh, money, steal our help away. So last week, Psalm 126 uh, asks us to pray for restoration and to God to restore like the streams of Negev. To restore suddenly in a very special way. Now, for this Psalms tonight in 127, uh, we are just going to look at the first two verses. And it is about if God is not involved, or if God is not, in, uh, is not with us in what we do. Then everything that we do, will be of no use. In verse 1 and verse 2, you find that the word in vain uh, is mentioned three times. Verse number 1 says, unless the Lord builds the house, 
they labor in vain who built it adu adu katravargal vandu vinaga pomaattargal endru solli unless the lord guards the city and the aashirvadinga and the patnatha katra janangal mathila the watchman stays awake awake in vain anga ninnu paadukaakkaravargal adu veen povaad endru solli it is vain for you to rise up early adu adhi kaalai namba elumburthukku elumburthukku adu veena pogaad endru solli to sit up late adu karmel so thamadam pannaama unless the lord builds devan kattumbodhu whatever we do namba enna seiyuromo will be of no use adu vandu endu purjanam illa endu solra unless the lord guards the city anna and patnatha devan padukappu kudutharna you and i can stay awake all night namba vidhiya vidhiya namba ukkandi irukalam anga but it will come to nothing adu vandu punniyam illa po onnum illama even if you put a law work into it adala baalathukala nammaloda ulaipanga potta kuda rising up early in the morning and the kaalambile elumbum bodu and sleeping late at night raatri late a namba padukum bodu to do what you want to do namba enna sey porum adu mattum seiya but if god is not in it adala devan anga thalaiyada villa naaka everything that we do enna namba seiyiruma will come to of no good அது ஒண்ணுமே நன்மை எல்லாம் போகும். The word in vain means useless. அது வந்து प्रयोजनம் எல்லாம் ஆயிரும். Everything will be useless. எதுமே प्रयोजनம் எல்லாம் ஆயிரும். It will come to zero. அது வந்து பூஜ்யத்துக்கு வந்துரும். So we want to look at this verse. இந்த வார்த்தையை நம்ம பாப்போம். To see what we can learn from this two verses. இந்த ரெண்டு வசனத்தில நம்ம என்ன கத்துக்க போறோம்னு பாப்போம். First is this verse tells us. இதுல முதல் வார்த்தை நமக்கு சொல்லுது. that whatever we do enna namba seidhalo as believers or na devan mele nambike ullavanga viswasiga we must get we must involve god into it adha nam adha namba seiyum bodhu devan adala thalaiyida vendum endru solra we must get god to be involved devan namba adala vishayathila thalaiyida venum in order what we do become useful illa appo dhaan namba seiyrappa adu or prayojanama irukum Uh, what it means is if god is involved devan idhilamba thaliyidum bodhu then uh, what we will hard to do namba enna adu namba paichu panni namba velavinama na seiyum bodhu what we stay up late at night to do appo raathil namba raathri pogala late a namba seiyum bodhu what we wake up early in the morning to do kaalai namba adhigaalai le elumba bodhu will bring us profit நம்மளுக்கு வந்து அதுல வந்து பயணம் கிடைக்கும். we we'll bring us fruits. நம்மளுக்கு அதுல கனி கொடுப்பாரு. Uh, at the end of the night. அந்த ராத்திரியில uh, because god is involved. தேவன் அதுல தலையிடும் போது uh, we shall close our eyes to sleep with peace. நம்ம கண்களை மூடி நல்ல சமாதானத்தோட தூங்குவோம். but the question tonight is இன்னைக்குள்ள கேள்விக்குரிய என்ன என்றால் how do we get god to be involved in whatever we do namba enna seidha devan yadala thalaiyida vendum endru solra kelvi thaan nikka raathri now this that we are getting god to be involved devan yadala thalaiyida vendum endru solli paathama is not something that is sinful adhu vandu or paava karyam illa god cannot be involved in sinful things paava karyathil devan thalaiyida mattar there is this young lady uh, in uh, in where i stay man avar irukka edathil or siru vaisa pen irundala istri in one of the restaurants that sometimes i go to and i will see her there anga povanga pa salanathil anga povanga ra avaru and um, she will go around uh, tables and and uh, she will be collecting money from the elderly or vaisanam mathila poi message suthi suthi pana vasul panuvargal she is quite a pretty little a uh, pretty girl pretty lady or penmani nu solla alagana penmani nu sollalam and it be in the morning and i'll be having breakfast there and she be going around the tables especially among older people vaisanam mathila suthi and message pathile kaalla poi pasiyara poru poi pana vasul panuvanga she be collecting money and and uh, i begin to connect one to one and uh, connect it big together what she's doing avanga enna seyra nu solli ivarum kana paathu kondirundara and she actually write numbers for living avara number vera eludhu illegal you know gambling something like that thavarana molaila number vera soothu velaadrathu and uh, she nowadays she just put in the handphone appo la handphone la potu kaangala and put the numbers there and number adula potu Yeah, how much you want to buy? Nevala vaanga poringalo. Unlike um, 
during my parents time unlike unlike that time uh, you have this small little book you know you write all the numbers there uh, the guy will give you one copy and you and they will keep one copy so this lady she's very hard working i see her go around tables and though she labored to do those work because it's a sinful thing God can't bless that kind of work so we are not talking about getting God involved in the sinful things so how do we get God to be involved so that uh, at the end of the day, whatever we do will bring, bring us gain. We bring to our family blessing. And to do that tonight, I want to look at the man by the name of Nehemiah. Okay, and, and Nehemiah, he, he, he got God involved. He was also into wanting to build something. Uh, he heard news about walls of Jerusalem being broken. And um, he decided to go about wanting to help rebuild the walls that has been broken down. And we begin to read about him that when he began to go about doing it, he did not do it on his own. But he began to get God to be involved. And because he got God to be involved, he was able to rebuild the broken walls of Jerusalem. And he was able to do it in 52 days. And he was able to do it not in 52 days, but even when um, there were three enemies that were trying to stop him. Uh, these three enemies, you can call them the, the uh, GST, you know. The GST in Sulangla. Um, their names are Gishem, Bishem, Sambala, Sambala, Tobia, Todia. One of the Bible uh, um, commentaries, those Bible scholars call them the three stooges. Uh, I think the young generation don't know who the three stooges are. Finish, you know the three stooges. Okay. So these three stooges are uh, a bit cuckoo, you know, a bit cranky. Uh, but anyway, in Nehemiah and trying to build, uh, he not just uh, faces the whole, uh, you know, the building thing itself alone. But they were enemies. And uh, this is one of the reasons why you have to get God involved. Because they are spiritual GSTs. Uh, unseen. Uh, that they want to discourage you. That they want to stop you. From building. And Nehemiah managed to build. We have all these enemies. And he did it with the help of God. So God was involved. And because of that, he was able to finish it. Everything that he built was not in vain. Because 
the lord was involved kattar avaroda irundar in what he built avar seidha karyathukku now in building and 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 doing and 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 building something edhaadhu ora namba kattanum kattumbodhu you must always involve god from the very beginning aarambathile namba devan adala kalandukolla vendum setukka vendum if possible you involve god from the very beginning from the very start namba aarambathile devan vandu adala pagundukolla vendum you can do it uh, you know in the middle namba paadile seiyumbodhu you can do it uh, after you have started namba seidha peragu but the best is when you you haven't started yet மிகவும் நல்லது என்னன்னு ஆரம்பிக்கிறதுக்கு got involved even adala thalaiya vendi kekkara it was not after chapter 2 chapter 3 chapter 4 randavad adhikara 3 avad 4 and the time la kekkala or when he faces the gst group and the gst endra and the kootatha avar paakkaradhukku munna kekkala but from the very beginning ana aarambathile avar kekkara when this thing come came to him ivar mathila vandha podu indha person ivar it can become something beautiful adu or alagaga vandathu is broken adu odaindathu but it can be restored and the meaning of the tribi pettikolla it can he can he can put a smile on his face again or magathil or punniga vara alavukku it can be come back what it is before munne eppadi irundhen avar meenu vara he begin to first adha modalaga before he starts aarambikkirathukku munna get god involved devan adala thalaiya vendum endru solla so maybe you are sitting here selatha namba inga ukkandirukkala you planning to do something namba edavathu seiyalana namba aarambikkano nandirukkala it's a new thing idu oru mudhu kaariyam then first is to involve your god into it modalaga unga devana adala thalaiya vendum endru solli kekkaram we going to turn to nehemiah chapter 1 nehemiah onnavathu adhigaratha paarga was for roof can you read bole bacha and the first thing he did மொதல் காரியம் அவர் செய்தார்னாக்கா இன் நிஹிமாய 1 was 4 ஒன்னாவது அதிகாரம் நானாவது வசனம் வாசிக்கவே கேட்டபோது நான் உங்களிடத்தில் அழுது சில நாயகாய் சுகித்து புரிசித்து மண்டரி பரலோகத்தி தேவனே ஓகே थैंक यू so when he heard news that his people are in great trouble avangalor janagal perchanangala kadandu povode the gates have been burned with fire and avanga pore edam vandu nerpu pudichi erinjum povode wall of jerusalem is broken down jerusalem and severu odainda povode many days he was in deep sadness avaru sela naal avaru vandu romba thukkathode irundar after he after that was over அது முடிஞ்ச பிறகு he begin to get god involved devan adala thalaiya vendum endru kettar and how he did was he begin to fast and pray eppadi seidha nakam javathiliyum obagasathiliyum ponar now notice it says he fasted and pray avar vandu obagasathu avar javam pannar he did not just pray avar javam undi pannala but he first fasted modha avan obagasam eduthar and then he pray adukapra jevichar as he fasted avaru obagasam podu now fasting and praying and the obagasamo javamo is not something that is uh, uncommon adu edho nadakkadhu oru kaaryam illa fasting in the bible over and over again vedamathila meendum meendum potirukku and now fasted and pray ana obagasathilum javam panna asto fasted and pray thero obagasam panni javam panna jesus when preparing to go into ministry fasted and pray poi podu yesu christ obagasathile javam panna paul in barnabas in the book of acts apostle book of paul and barnabas a man by the name of Ezra Ezra and our manishan he fasted and prayed for our bagasa pani jom pannar for uh, the 900 jews to no no to no 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 jews the janargal mathila they were 
going back to Israel from Babylon Babylon to be protected Jerusalem ku pombodhu and um, uh, over and over again meendum meendum namba paathuma we find that fasting and praying avagasama javama when they needed a breakthrough அவங்களுக்கு வந்து கட்டுகள் விடுதலை கிடைக்க வேண்டும் என்று சொன்னார் ப்ரொடெக்ஷன் அவங்களுக்கு பாதுகாப்பு வேண்டும் என்றார் தேவனோட ஆசிர்வாதம் வேண்டும் என்றார் அவங்க உபகாச எடுத்து ஜோம் பண்ணுவார்களாம் பை மென்ஷனிங் மத உபகாச எடுத்து ஜோம் பண்றது it means that nehemiah was fast to fast obagasa nehemiah vandu medu maga vegu vegu pa vandu obagasathila po varan he was not slow to take this course of uh, action of fasting or obagasa edukkara andha mudivu moduvaga po matra viru viru pa adha modhu seivaram when he wanted god to be involved devan namba idhila thalaiyida vendum endral and god was involved devan adhila thalaiyittar now the question is what is it, what is it to fast enna or kelvi enna nakka enna adha job obagasam edukkaradhu endral how to fast eppadi namba obagasam edukka vendum okay uh, prayer we know javan nammalku theriyum but what about this 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 subject of fasting the obagasam endradhu adukke enna endru kekkrom almost uh, all religion teaches fasting ella madathile obagasam kattu koduthirukku i think except chinese china ungalku undi illa chinese more eating than fasting avanga romba saapiduvaanga fasting oda obagasathoda rita was telling me pastor i don't really see chinese fasting la chinese vegetarian marakari la povaanga avanga Chinese if they fast they fast to slim down. I'm going to only agar tham obagasam povanga chinavanga. But anyway, in the matilo most race most religion mada mukasi ella madathile mukasi madathile fasting is something that they 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 may do. Obagasam kandipa avanga seivarga. But what is bible fasting? Vedamathada ulla obagasam enna endral kekkara what does it mean when the bible says nehemiah began to fast and pray nehemiah vande nehemiah vande obagasam eduthu jom pannar one of the things about fasting or kaaryam enna na obagasatha kurthi pesudhu is a denial of any kind of pleasure edhaadhu nammalkulla edhaachu or nammalku munnukku nikkira or kaaryam for a particular period of time selan kaalathile andha nadakkumbodhu Uh, the goal is to in our case here with Nehemiah. Appa Nehemiah polan ba pathamala nammalku is to get God to be involved in what he is planning to do. Avaru enna seyraaro avarku unde devan idhila thalaiyida vendum endru kekkara. This usually involve idhu vande mukkiyama adhila vande setukka setukka vendum endru solli putting aside adu odiki vekkira velaiyila not just about food onavu mattumalla but also about things that gives you pleasure end karyam nammalku mulimiya and the nokam adala podo okay suppose okay suppose we say food onava eduthukottama is food satisfy you bring you pleasure onna vandu nammalku vandu adu mulimiya namba vandu adaiyirathukku adu than nammalku endru solli on the day that you fast you are to put it aside and the nalike namba obagasam irukka adha namba odiki vekkenum but not only food ona onava mattumalla maybe songs paadalgal maybe i'm not talking about christian songs but songs that you maybe like to listen to old songs and all that krista paadalgal nammalku adukku melada paadada kodada paadalgal maybe the facebook nammaloda facebook la porudhu maybe the youtube youtube ku porudhu certain things you 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 watch that kinds of mix you uh, kind of gives you kind of a joy or happiness and the mari paatha namalukku sandosham and the mari pugalchukula por and the mari kaariyatha oduka it is about denying yourself any kind of pleasure enna mari kaariya namalukku munnukku namba adha modha namba vekkiruma okay if if you are married neenga thirumanam pannirundinga and that, that is you have to put aside those married times unga thirumanam nala anga oduki vekka vendum and not be involved in it adhula namba thaliyada kodadhu adha vara kodadhu it involve giving up ad namba uttru koduthuruvom endru solli what you want enna nammalku vendum endru solli in order to in a way you can say satisfy god ad devanna vandu mukkiyama avara mukkiyama 
சந்தோஷப்படுத்துறதுக்கு it is saying no to yourself நம்மளுக்கு வேண்டாம் என்று சொல்லி in order to get a yes from god தேவனுக்கே இது ஆமான் என்று சொல்ற அளவுக்கு this is something that um uh, this commonly done அது எப்பவுமே அது செய்யக்கூடிய ஒரு காரியம் தான் when those in the bible they need a breakthrough அந்த நம்ம கட்டுகள் அறுக்கப்படுவன வேதாமத்துல சொன்னது போல they need god to help அவங்களுக்கு தேவன் உதவி வேண்டும் என்று சொல்லி is that they go into fasting அப்ப அவங்க உபகாசத்துல போவார்கள் from the eyes to the ears கண்ணில இருந்து காது வரைக்கும் from the ears to the mouth காதில இருந்து வாய் வரைக்கும் from the mouth to the body வாயில இருந்து உடல்ல வரைக்கும் they would deny அத முழுமையாக all this parts of the body உடல்ல இருக்கிற ஒரு ஒரு பகுதியையும் பார்த்தமா any form of pleasure எது நமக்கு பிடிச்ச கிரம் போல நடுவுல in the book of zechariah zechariah book தகத்துல பாத்தீங்கனா was chapter 7 ஏழாவது வசனம் was 5 and was 6 வசனம் 5 6 um sandra can you read sagoda chandra padinga zechariah chapter 7 zechariah puthakam ஏழாவது அதிகாரம் வசனம் அஞ்சும் ஆறும் God they ask two questions. Even ரெண்டு காரியத்தை குறித்து ஒரு கேள்வி குறி கேக்குறார். Chapter 7 was 5 and was 6. Got it. Surah Sakaraya. ஏழாவது அதிகாரம் அஞ்சாவது வசனமா ஆறாவது வசனமா So in that that verse got asked two questions. And the Martyra Deva rendu kelvi kuri kekkarar. One is God says to when them is when you fast. Devan unga mathil jananga mathra nee obagasa edukumbodu. Did you really fast for me? Nee enakkaga nee obagasa eduthiya nu enak kekkarar. And he used another time the word for me again. Meendum enakku nu rendavathu vaati kekkarar. When you fast. Nee obagasa eduthina. Did you really fast for me for me? எனக்காக எனக்காக உபகாசம் எடுத்தியா verse number 6 ஆறாவது வசனம் சொல்லுது when you eat நீ உணவு போது when you drink நீ தண்ணி குடிக்கும் போது do you not eat and drink for yourselves உனக்காக குடித்து கொண்டு நீ உணவு சாப்பிட்டியா what god is 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 asking when he asks those questions இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு கேள்வி தேவன் கேக்குறது என்ன என்றா is when we eat நம்ம உணவு போது we eat to satisfy our hunger namloda pasiye dirthi pandrathukku namba saapidrom we eat to satisfy ourselves namble dirthi pandrathukku namba saapidrom and in likewise adhe pole when we fast namba vagasam edukumbodhu we must do so with god in mind for his pleasure avaroda santoshathukka avala dirthi pandrathukku namba vagasam edukano when we fast we are fasting for him avarkaga namba vagasam pandrom we are fasting with a mindset that is thinking about satisfying him ennathukkul namba moichi panikkano avare dirthi pandrathukku dhaan namba upakasa thadukkorona when we are hungry nammalku pasi edukumbodhu our stomach you know uh, cries out feed me feed me and namba vayiru alugum saapadu kudu saapadu kudu endru solli but when we come to fasting namba upakasathila namba nalaiyumbodhu fasting is like satisfying god obagasam vandha devana dirthi pandrathu than obagasam like we satisfy our stomach when we eat namba vairukku namba dirthi pandrathu pola than fasting tonight indha ratri velala obagasam indral something about it edho oru adhil irukku that attracts god adhe devana vandha dirthikulla kondu vara when you begin 
to deny this uh, 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 what you call that this the pleasure things by denying our eyes denying our mouth denying our ears denying the pleasure things to, to this body we, we are then fasting and when we do that uh, we are in a way uh, bringing pleasure to God we are doing it for him when Nehemiah fasted He's giving up his good food. He's giving up his uh, uh, pleasure time. And he's going before God for him. For him. There's this story about uh, two men cutting woods. Uh, one is a very old man. The other man is a very young man. And uh, the young man says he's, he's going to cut as many woods as possible. And it's like a, a competition between the young and the old. So every hour, the old man, when he cuts the wood, he will stop. He will stop for 15 minutes. Whereas the young man will continue to chop. He was thinking if he would chop non-stop Eight hours At the end of the day he would have more wood than the old man The old man, 15 minutes, one hour, 15 minutes He would take 15 minutes rest but when they counted the woods, the old man has more wood cut than him. And uh, you cannot understand why. He, he went to the old man and asked him, how is it that, you know, I... I I've been young and strong and I cut non-stop. And I see you every every hour you will take 15 minutes rest. Why, why is it that you cut more than me? And the man, the old man says to this man that when he was resting, he will sharpen his axe. He will sharpen his axe when he's resting. Fasting is, is, is this. Okay, when you fast and you deny yourself from your eyes to your ears to your mouth if you're married from, from being close to your wife or husband then you're doing it for him you're satisfying God and, and like Nehemiah God began to get involved the second thing I want to look with you is in Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 6. Nehemiah, verse 7. Uh, can you read? seven read, read, yeah. so I want you to notice when he begin to pray he did not say they, they. 
They sin, you know. Aunga pao se dargal. They acted wickedly. Aunga tauran vali ke lapo narga dunma kargal. They have not obeyed you. Aunga rung bala rungal kill padiye bille endu solle. He did not say there, there, there. Aunga endu solle bille. But he include himself. Aurye sette kondar. And say we. Nambam endu solnar. We have acted wickedly. Namba endu dunma karapa le vali ke le namba po na mena. We have not obeyed you. Aunga lak naga kill padiye bille. He says in verse six. Arahade adi ke arthala. We Israelites. Number ta adala narande pono. Including myself. Avariam seti kondar adala kalande kolla. We have uh, gone against you. Nangal unle ke gita nanga pono. So we find here. Idalam ba pakro. That he includes himself. Avariam avar seti kondar. By praying we. Number endu solle. Now what? Is happening here. Is there any narak de inral? He is avoiding behaving in a self-righteous manner. Our, adale butte palagi pohna ka our needy man kula or pohra. He is avoiding putting himself, you know, higher than and better than others. Our pera roade ibero vole oyenda varenda our paka ada padike. He is avoiding, you can say, being like a Pharisee and Sadducee in the in the gospel. अंदर वेदा मत्रा पोड़ रहे हैं अंदर इस सारे के रूप में तो जनगल मत ही ला। The Pharisees and the Sadducees were always self-righteous। आउंगे ये पमी आउंगे तां वहीं द वर्गन एंड पापा रंगल। I am right। आउंगे तां सारी। Other people are wrong। पर रे तावरी एंड सुलवार। This is the Pharisee way of thinking। इंदर ना द Pharisee जनगल पेशर और कारी। Other people are not as good as me। आउंगे ये नौड़न अल्लबंगला ले एंड सुले। Other people are not as holy as me। आउंगे ये ना पॉल ले आउंगे परसों तमाल ले। Other people is not as pure as me। ये ना आ ये ना पॉल आउंगे परसों कमाल ले एंड सुले। Holy, righteous. Aungata needy man, parshutta mein de solra lagu. I am above others. Aungul ke mela na wahinder pen solva. Nehemiya. Nehemiya wo. We find that he did not think that way. Aur ande mahari aur yenna thala aur nani kela. He did not behave that way. Ande mahari aur parchikala pola. We find that he began to say. Aur soli ke rar. We we. Number number in de soli nangal. We have. We have done that which is wrong. Number say that that the tower end is only. If we want God to be involved, number one the Devan talayi de vendum end is only. Our hearts must be empty of behaving and thinking we know much better. Number nani kiri the number nala mudi or number nala palakka valakatta. Our hearts must be empty. Number irdiya mandu of thinking others. Were lower than us. Matto ungle vandi kila paka ada padiki. Not as smart as us. Number Lord and aungle vandi bela marka and amari paka ada padiki. Remember the words of First Corinthians chapter one. Ono Corinthians so onna oda di karo. Verse twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. Iru tar, iru tiel, iru tete. Ah, roof pole bacha. Verse twenty six. First Corinthians chapter one. Ono Corinthians onna oda di karo. Iru tar, iru tiel, iru tete. Awak nak dah dikehendaki? Iru tarik, iru tiri, iru tete. Twenty six ya. Iru tar lende, iru tiele, iru tete. Okay. So long. Was twenty. So we find that this is the people that God calls. In the Maria, Janangalata, Devan, Alakya, Padrar. In verse twenty-six, 
Not many wise men. Not many mighty. Uh, not many of them got calls. Verse 27. But God chosen. The foolish. The weak. Verse 28. God has chosen the, the, the lowly. And you find that the people that God chooses to do His will when they begin to hear of Peter in the Bible, in the book of Acts, they, they begin to say of Peter they, uh, that these people never never went to school. Uh, uh, but, 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 but these people, they are, they are, even though they didn't go to school, but yet they are so, um, so able and, and at the end of the day they begin to say it's because Jesus is with them you see Jesus wants to get all the glory God wants to get all the glory and God chooses this, these people. So this tells you and I that we must never begin to look down and despise and put down people that are not, not as good as you are. Not as able as you are. Because at the end of the day, uh, we can become like the Pharisees. Self-righteous. So, um, I'm going to close here. Just these two things here tonight. Uh, but the first one about fasting. You know, all over the Bible. When God's people begin to go into fasting. In that period of time that you set, it could be one day. It could be two days. Uh, you begin to deny yourself. And you begin to go to God in prayer in that denial. And as sure of, as God is no respect of people. He doesn't look at colors. He doesn't look at skin. He doesn't look at how educated you are. But if you begin to do it God's way of fasting, uh, God will move for them just as uh, He will move for you. Amen. Amen. Let's bow each tonight. And uh, dear Father in heaven, we come by the blood of Jesus. We thank you for uh, teaching us tonight, especially on the topic of fasting. And tonight in the name of Jesus, for them that are planning to to, to get into fasting. Uh, we pray by the Holy Spirit. Uh, you be with them to help them. Tonight in the name of Jesus. We pray for one another. To those who need a touch from you. To those who need prayer. Healing in the name of Jesus. Pray, Father in heaven, you touch them. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give a big clap to the Lord. Pastor, communion. Pastor. Amen.
the communion. Oh, okay. So, can you call... Um, so, for those who did not manage to take communion this morning, I would like to take it with you tonight. Okay, so I'll just wait for uh, Anu to come down. And so you did not take, um, uh, I'm going to join you tonight to take of the bread and to take of the cup. Okay. Pass it, pass it to me. Just one can. Uh, they, 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 they have taken. So, yeah. So those who have taken this morning don't have to. But if they want to. Um, no, 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 this one, no. So if you want to take, I'll leave it to you, okay? It's not an issue. It's not a problem. So rise to our feet tonight and pray, Father in heaven, we come by the blood of Jesus. We thank you for giving us your son 2,000 years ago. He sacrificed for us by giving of his body in order to be broken. In order for blood to be shed, uh, to cleanse us of all our sins. Tonight we thank you for this broken body of Christ and for the blood of Jesus. We thank you tonight for your great love for us through your son Jesus. Bless the bread and the cup. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's break the bread in two. Amen. Let's eat of the bread. String of the cup. Amen. God bless all of you Amen. So, see you on Friday. Do be here by 7. Amen. And bring somebody that needs prayer healing. Amen.